you might be wondering, how big can you make Chain Chomps, and what happens when you have giant Chain Chomps in Super Mario Odyssey? Well, if you are wondering that, it's your lucky day, because today, we push the limits of Super Mario Odyssey by making Chain Chomps bigger and bigger until it crashes the game. I added a few Chain Chomps to the Metro Kingdom, some Chain Chomps bigger than others. It's funny that when you capture a Chain Chomp and you get close to people, they still talk to you as if you're just Mario walking up to them. The mayor sure did a bang up job of getting the city running again. Great to see Chain Chomps in the streets over here. That's what I like to see in the Metro Kingdom. If you launch your Chain Chomp towards the people, they duck and the Chain Chomp goes right above them. These people might have better reflexes than Mario. Maybe you'd want to speedrun this game using one of these business people instead of Mario if you can dodge attacks this easily. In this park, I added some big Chain Chomps and it's funny how zoomed in the camera is when you capture a big Chain Chomp like this because the Chain Chomps don't normally get this big. Even if you enter snapshot mode and you zoom out as far as possible, you can't zoom out very far from these chain chomps here. As we went through the Metro Kingdom, some of the nearby residents were a bit more afraid of the large chain chomp, and some others were just going about their business normally. With this very large chain chomp, its graphical model extends out a bit farther than you might expect, and it looks like the chain chomp is partially eating Mario here. In front of New Donk City Hall, I added a chain chomp that is 10 and times, times as, as big as, as normal. As some of the people closer to this Chain Chomp are a bit more afraid, but others, they don't mind if there's a Chain Chomp not too far away from them. They're putting a lot of trust in the chain that holds it in place. These guys just sitting back here are like, Listen, Jamie, that Chain Chomp's barking might be a little distracting, but we gotta have this meeting. The client needs us. And it's funny that if you stop by Pauline here, she says, I'll be sure to not lose this one. And it almost looks like you brought over a giant chain chomp to her. And she's promising that she won't lose this chain chomp. When you capture this chain chomp that's 10 times as big as normal, the camera is now inside the chain chomp. And this might be what it looks like to have the point of view of Pac-Man and live the life of Pac-Man. When you release your capture on this chain chomp, you're up in the air and it takes you a moment to drop down back to the ground. At 15 times bigger than normal, we are greeted with some large teeth at the Metro Kingdom, and taxis are just driving right through this without any problem. As we move into the park, you might notice something here that looks like a big monument in the city, but this is actually the end of the chain that is connected to the chain chomp. And yes, this whole park that we're seeing here, where we are, everything that's happening here right now, is inside the chain chomp itself. The Metro Kingdom and this chain chomp are starting to form some kind of symbiotic relationship. And this toad seems to be one of the only people that are actually scared of the chain chomps. If you capture this 15 times bigger than normal chain chomp and then release it, you're pretty high up and you can almost reach the roofs of the buildings. And over here, as a comparison, we have a chain chomp at half of regular size here and a chain chomp at one quarter regular size here. And the interesting thing about all these chain chomps, whether they're bigger or smaller, is that you can see an outline of their regular size right as they attack. When we have a chain chomp that's 10 times smaller than normal, the look on Cappy's face looks like, really Mario? You want to capture this guy? How is this going to help? And the Chain Chomp looks like it's thinking, Yes, yes, I'm a good Chain Chomp! I go chomp, chomp, chomp! Good choice! Trying to attack the taxis with the Chain Chomp doesn't destroy them. It looks like we just bounce off of them. Even though if you capture the tank enemies called Sherms, you can destroy the taxis. As we make our way towards City Hall, it looks like a dark red mass is starting to engulf the buildings of New Donk City. And as you get very close, you might realize that that's the inside of the Chain Chomp that we are seeing. A Chain Chomp that is 25, 25 times, times bigger, bigger than, than normal. normal. Mayor Pauline and Mario have dealt with some problems before, saving the Metro Kingdom, but I don't know if they can take care of a Chain Chomp this big. Luckily, nobody really seems to mind. When you make your way over to the front of City Hall, Mayor Pauline is actually inside this metal part that the Chain Chomp is attached to, but you can luckily walk in here to see her. Just like before, you can see the outline of the normal Chain Chomp before it attacks, but this Chain Chomp goes pretty wild right after that, the way that it bounces around. If you capture this Chain Chomp and then you release your capture, you're pretty far up above the city, and you can actually make it onto the roof of a skyscraper by dropping down from here if you're careful where you're moving once you release your capture. And seriously, isn't the Metro Kingdom a beautifully designed level? It is really cool to see Mario in an urban environment like this. And it looks like something's upset this little guy here. For a tiny Chain Chomp like that, he's sure got a lot of rage. But how is it connected to the chain? And how is the chain even connected? The links look like they don't go through each other. Anyways, I made the Chain Chomp smaller and smaller to the point where I actually couldn't even see them. It looks like Mario's hat got a piercing here. 
And at New Donk City Hall, the sky is turning dark and red. It is a scary night here, and you might already know that we are inside a chain chomp, and this chain chomp is 100, 100 times as big, as big as normal. As normal. Is this normal behavior for a chain chomp? I am not sure about that. So let's capture this chain chomp, pull back, release, and where are we? I was a bit disoriented by the background, but you get launched up so high that you can actually make it back up onto this building here. It's kind of surprising how far up you are when you capture one of these giant chain chomps and then you release it. You are really far above the level. When the chain chomp is 1,000 times as big as normal, you can't see it from a lot of camera angles. But from certain camera angles, we can see a gray sky, which must be the teeth of the chain chomp that we're seeing back there. When you capture and release this chain chomp, I actually wasn't sure where I was or what was happening to the camera at first. It was as if Mario was thrown out of an airplane and he was so disoriented that he couldn't tell what was up and what was down at first. I saw these buildings down here, so I started trying to move towards these buildings, thinking that this was New Donk City and that Mario would be able to land. But as Mario fell and fell, he was falling down, but he wasn't actually getting closer to the buildings because there is an invisible wall preventing him from going any farther because this was actually an out-of-bounds area and not, in fact, New Donk City. And I can't believe I never noticed this before, but these things that look like blimps out here have taxi cars below them. I tried releasing the chain chomp again, but this time I wanted to go towards this bridge that's in the background of the Metro Kingdom, and I loved getting a closer look at the taxis on this bridge. It's funny how detailed the taxis look in the Metro Kingdom, but in the background here, these taxis actually look like something straight out of a Nintendo 64 game. This is something that's so far out in the background, so it's really funny that they gave this a lot less detail. I wanted to try to land on the bridge or on this part of the bridge that was sticking out a bit, but this object, just like a lot of out-of-bounds objects in a lot of games, doesn't have any collision, so you just fall straight through it as you make your way towards it. With the chain chomp being 100,000 times as big as normal, you can't even see it as you get close to City Hall, but at some points the sky looks like it's getting a bit cloudy. We capture the chain chomp, and even though this chain chomp is so much bigger than before, I'm not sure if we are actually launched up higher or not compared to the last one when we release it. Next, I made the chain jump 100 million times as big as normal. I was wondering what would happen if we headed on over to New Donk City Hall and saw the chain jump and the game crashes before we can get there. I tried making the camera face the opposite way as we were heading towards City Hall, thinking that maybe that would help, but the same thing happens, the game crashes, but you can get a lot closer. I thought it would be really fun to test out some more stuff with the Chain Chomp and other captures and bosses, and I do a lot of tests like this in other games, so it's been really fun so far testing this kind of stuff in Super Mario Odyssey also. If you're interested in more experiments and games and more funny gameplay, you might enjoy some of my other videos. I'm wishing all of you an amazing day ahead of you, thank you so much for watching, and take care everybody. Oh, <laughs>